Okay, so tell us a bit about yourself. My name's Alan. I'm uh, I'm twenty one. I come from Fife originally, Methil, uh, and I now live in Edinburgh uh, because I go to Queen Margaret University, where I study uh, radiography. Okay, so that's university. But um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, several things. I mean, I like um, I really like watching watching films, um, and I play the guitar as well. Do that not in a band, but just just play myself um yeah um so since the guys can't be here all the time they basically just ask me to if anything happens any developments occur just film it on my phone so that there is a uh, that is documented in some way um I'm not sure it looks that good on the phone, but it's not my film, so. Okay, so how long have you been single? I guess I've never really had a, a girlfriend, uh, per se. I've, I've seen girls before in the past uh, in different sort of capacities for different lengths of time, but I've never really had... Uh, had anyone that I would class as uh, my girlfriend, anyway, put it that way. Okay, so what made you agree to do this then? Well, obviously I'm a big fan of films anyway, but uh, I think my biggest problem with women is that I'm quite shy around them, regardless of the situation, even if it's just a sort of casual situation. I'm very shy around women, so I thought that this might help. It might uh, maybe bring me out my shell a bit more, make me a bit more forthcoming when it comes to, to talking to, to girls. So you never know. It's worth a try, I guess. Okay, good. So being at university, is there not, is there not women on your course or at university that you could meet, that you could get talking to? Uh, well, I mean, you'd, you'd be surprised. There's, there is, there's girls on the course, but it's, I know them all quite well, so it's, it's a bit awkward in that respect. And I mean, university keeps me really busy, so I, I don't, I don't have that much time to be meeting sort of, sort of girls anywhere really. Uh, let alone the university, uh, but I mean, there's not not really. There's not there's not that many at uni that just to to meet in general. Okay. Uh, yeah, tonight I I've got a, a blind date. Uh, my friend for uni, she had a single a single friend, and she decided to set us up. So I'm just getting ready to to go out to that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go for a drink. Uh, apparently, apparently we've got quite a lot in common, so should be should be a lot of fun. I hope. Anyway. Hey. Hi. 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 Are you me, Hannah? Yeah, I am. Hello, Alan. Nice Alan. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Just, yeah, have a seat. So, so, uh, what, what do you do? Anyway. Anyway. <coughs> Sorry. Um. I, well, I work in retail. Alright, cool. Where, where about? Top shop. How's that? Is it good? Just retail. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. What about you? Uh, I just, I'm a student. I study at uh, Queen Margaret Uni. Oh, right. What do you do? Uh, radiography. Radiography? Yeah, like x-rays and stuff like that. Why? So, how, how long have you stayed in Edinburgh for? Like two years? Cool. Not too long. Not too long, but. So, do you go to like clubs and stuff like yeah, that? Like, yeah, you know, occasionally. Like noise clubs. Like. Yeah, I mean, I go out with my, 
tahu siapa kawok ya obsession yes but do you not not go to nightclubs so they bars okay do you like talk all right cool um great Like four years, I'm just at my final year of uni now. Oh, right, yeah, you do um, radio stuff, right? R- radiography. Radiography. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's fine. It's like x rays. Oh, like right, yeah. Okay. You didn't think about going into radio? So. Big, uh, big date last night. How did it go? Yeah, it was. It was a bit awkward. I guess that's kind of normal on a blind date. It's like you know the two people don't know each other, so they're not, they're never gonna hit it off instantly. I guess. Yeah, I think we'll. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll give her a text. See if see if we want to to meet again and try and try and try again. So. Did last night's date go any better than before? Not really, to be honest. Uh, I think it was just as awkward. I think it wasn't just the fact we didn't really know each other. We just really don't have that much in common, I guess. Uh, And I really... I don't know, I I don't see myself going out with her again, really, I guess. So I think I'm probably going to, I don't know, send her a text or something that's... Sorry. (sighs) Uh, Yeah. Looks like uh, she had the same idea and uh, beat me to it, I guess. Which is, I don't know, kind of annoying, but I don't know. Hmm. I don't know why do you think she would do that. So, you've been single a while now. Um, what do you do? What do you do to keep busy? Um. Just various things. I mean, obviously, I mean, living in the city is is great. Uh, there's lots to do there. Uh, I've got a lot of good friends for uni and stuff, so there's plenty of stuff to do um, out around, around town. Uh, I go out quite a lot with my friends. I've been using this app I got recommended. It's a sort of dating app, Tinder. Um, so I've been using that, and I got matched with this really, really good-looking girl. She's um, like tall, blonde hair, really pretty, um, and I was really surprised because I didn't think something like that would uh, happen. But I've been talking to her, so I think I'm gonna um, ask her out uh, on a date. So hopefully that goes well. Any plans for this evening? Yes, I um, I've got another date lined up. Is that the um, is that the same outfit you wore you wore on on your last day? Thanks. That's all right. Yeah, no problem. Oh, hmm. You good? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, so, so how's your day been? What have you been doing? I'm not bad. How, how about you? What do you do? Um, so I just graduated last year. Um, so I'm working in a bar at the moment, and um, yeah, it's quite good. What am I supposed to do? I, I don't know. She carries nothing like a bitch. My hair's not even the same colour. What am I going to do? Um. Go, go on the date, I guess. But she didn't look like like she was meant she was meant to look like. 
So you're not going to go on a date based on which you're So today I um I went I was out uh, at uni and I met I met a girl I met uh, this girl Sarah who I uh, went to high school with she's from Methil as well and she's just she's in first year which is why I hadn't met her at uni yet um we, we got to chatting about home and, and and Edinburgh and stuff she was saying how she she hadn't really been out in, in the city that much so I asked her if she wanted to go for a drink. And, and she said yes, and I got a phone number, so yeah, I think we would go out. You've been, you've been with Sarah now for a couple of weeks, um, almost a month. How, how's it going? It's going really well. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's going. Uh, I've been, like you said, it's been about a month. Um, we've just we've been out a lot with each other, uh, we see each other all the time. We have like lots in common, both coming from the same area and stuff like that. We just we seem to click quite nicely. We laugh a lot. It's it's, it's good fun. I definitely like the amount I see her, and I would love to see her more. And it's just. It's just really nice to have somebody to call my girlfriend, I guess. So, it's getting serious then? I think so, yeah. I mean, I like to think so anyway. So, what's What's happened? Um, well, I can't eat, I'm sorry. So, uh, I got a text a wee while ago from Sarah basically saying that she doesn't really uh, want to see me anymore um, she just doesn't think it's working out like what was the problem she was like just, she just doesn't feel in that way about me just whatever that means I just I don't, I don't know what that means. Like, what does, what does that, she doesn't feel that, that way about me. Like, what, what is that? You know, like, what do I, what do, I do with that? I don't know. I think there's a thing with, with films and, and TV and stuff that they kind of, they present this sort of romanticised notion of romance itself, um, which is which is isn't necessarily a good thing, you know. I mean, you, you see it in stuff like films, you know. You, you two people they go to a supermarket and they, they they both reach for the same cereal and their hands touch and their eyes meet and they fall in love and go and get married, have a house and, and have some kids and live happily ever after, but in, in real life it doesn't work like that, you know, you have to work at it and that's kind of a problem because, you know, this, this idea of love is sort of pressed upon us and people, some people, can't 
separate you know fiction from reality and then it creates this sort of unrealistic expectation that people have I do think that, you know, even though, yeah, it's this sort of sterilised, romanticised love, romance, it is still, I don't know, born out of a, a noble intention, I suppose. You know, because even though it, it might not be real love, it's, it, it kind of gives the people that watch these things some something to believe in because I mean the people that make these films are real they know that it doesn't happen like that in real life but I mean wouldn't it be nice 